should have known that this show was this good. I should have known. Like, I'm tired of being late to the party. Straight Malayda Girl from Ryan Away, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a review. Okay, with a review of none other than Stars P Valley, y'all. Season 2, Episode 1. When I tell y'all I'm tired of being late, okay? You late? I'm tired of being a late ho. Listen, this show is so good. Okay, it's sexy, it's cryptic, it's empowering it's for the culture it's for the people it's for the streets do you feel what i'm saying y'all listen let me just hop right into it because y'all know that's how we get down this episode kicks off with a man girl just a man i'm just a man okay a man he is having a birthday party of some sort girl his kids are over which i don't even <laughs> listen not over here um and the wife is trying to like get it together and he's just sitting there looking miserable miserable as hell and he decides he gets up i'm going to 7-eleven the wife is just looking like oh, oh you're leaving me yeah he's gone he's going to 7-eleven girl he comes to a crossroads he comes to a crossroads and he sees past the pimp woodbine you know sign or whatever he she has a billboard but it's vandalized okay a scandal is real and then on the left hand side is an arrow with a sexy girl pointing towards you know a car wash where you can see ass and get some hot wings so it's literally like that idea of ju juxtaposition of a billboard next to the stripper joint okay and of course what is a man gonna do a man's gonna be a man's gonna be a man he decides to go see some titties and hopefully see some booty so he goes over to the what you call him and he sees um i miss autumn night baby looking good looking good as she always do she pulls up and she's just like yeah um you know pull your car pull your car up you know this is the car wash and this is just the whole introduction to the new p valley as we know it the new pink as we know it because this is like although a fictional place chuckaloosa is a fictional place in mississippi chuckaloosa is a real place but just it's just not in mississippi they have the realism of following this whole pandemic thing so the guy goes through a car wash and then essentially in the car wash you see all the girls but everybody's safe because you know whatever whatever mercedes is still the main attraction we see uncle clifford and it's giving me blue lights it's giving me sexy it's giving me roman it's giving me so many things it's giving me hype williams in the 90s music video belly steady are you ready e okay it's giving me that anyway after we have our intro scene we got the we got the uh the we got the intro which is you know it's giving me very much it's reminiscent of you know how power was with the with the uh, joe on the intro song like that's this intro song for me these men grind hard but these just grind harder yes bitches grind harder that's what i'm talking about the first scene that we see is mercedes and autumn she's like listen girl we got one more dance mercedes arm is hurt it's been hurt so girl it's been five months you know what i'm saying i'm going to make you an appointment she's like i said i'm fine obviously her arm got hurt in the tussle on murder night um mercedes put back on her uh headband wig not headband elastic strap wig oh i love this for the culture and she does she goes and do her last dance so after the last dance girl it's tip out time cash out whatever it is when all of the strippers you know divvy up their money and mercedes is mad and she's like why are these why are, why am i getting the same amount of money as brazil and toy and mercedes you know asked autumn like did you give me all my money and she was like yeah for sure oh i'm sorry did you give me all my Skrilla? <laughs> Did you give me all my Skrilla? And she was like, yeah, definitely. Big Al, you got paid. Big Al, like, yeah. And he's like, boy, I don't even understand why Big Al's getting paid. He ain't got no pussy to be selling in pussy land. So, um, you know, we see that Mercedes' account is in a negative, And now this is during the pandem pandemic, y'all. So people were struggling. People were struggling, especially people who worked in the sex industry. If you didn't have an OnlyFans, or this is why we've seen so many people take their talent onto online platforms, even like YouTube. I love the realism of it. You know what I'm saying? She's struggling. And she, so her and Toy had this, you know, or Brazil, whoever one has this quick banter. And um, Uncle Clifford said, we always did it like this at the pink. That's how we're going to continue to do it. I feel like we've seen that argument many times before. Mercedes let it be known that I'm the one that keeps these men coming. Okay, quite 
literally and figuratively and um you know her milkshake is the one that brings all the boys to the yard then out of nowhere we just see a video of Keyshawn, Keyshawn, Keyshawn and Lil Murder and they're like oh my gosh Keyshawn her glow up is amazing and you can just see the resentment in um Mercedes eyes and she's just like my 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 have times changed because Mercedes has always been the main attraction you get what I'm saying and I mean I'm sure that has to hurt Uncle Clifford is like turn that off because he don't even want to see little murder baby murder he ain't got time for it Uncle Clifford said after what Keyshawn did I don't even want to see her shadow up in this place Psh, that's deep and the next thing we have um Uncle Clifford and um Haley I'm gonna go between Haley and Autumn um in um in the office and she's like yeah we got a we got denied another relief loan because we were considered non-essential he was like oh my gosh again non-essential they're like who do you think is keeping these men at bay like yeah like you know i didn't even think about like some of the southern states that were applying to loans and ppe loans and everything like that like girl everybody up here got skin everybody up here got a loan except for me baby because listen i never thought about that like the southern states they really don't really have a lot of like welfare and help and stuff like that but anyway they got denied and they start to argue about money and uncle clifford you know Haley is like how much money do we have left and they're like twenty five thousand dollars like twenty five thousand dollars to how many burkers did you buy and uncle clifford would let it be known like listen i don't even know why we call this a partnership because more and more it's feeling like you know you my boss and he's like well and Haley's like you got 15 percent 15 percent okay uncle clifford tells Haley, like listen i had to keep these girls afloat so they didn't have to go ahead and be selling no selling no puss and no you know whatever and he was like well how much did that cost he's like about fifty five thousand for five months i'm like yo that's crazy uncle clifford said well ain't no sense ain't nobody rich in the graveyard i love that saying like girl live your life <laughs> the money is there for a reason immediately after that little quick fight scene i don't even call it fight but you know the finances is looking a little fugazi um, to keep everything afloat after she, you know, dropped that 250k, you know what I mean? Had to drop it on a drop the elbow down. Um, this on the news that lockdown is gonna be over, the girls are all celebrating and it and that the mayor is dead. Okay, and the next scene we have Andre's wife, and at first I'm like, who is this girl? Because she looked completely different. Girl, she looked tired, worn down, girl. Like, you know, if you are if you are a, a health professional that went through the pandemic, like, thank you for your services. Like, you know how we say that to the troops? We need to be saying that to our nurses and our doctors because I can only imagine, um, you know, it was the whole reliving of coming in the house, taking off your clothes immediately as you come through the door, immediately getting in the shower, scrubbing yourself, taking those, um, taking those those uh supplements that zinc and that vitamin d like she had the whole thing down like real life it brought me back to what we were like at the beginning of the pandemic although we are not out of it just quite yet is <laughs> people think it's over they ain't over baby but i don't want to dwell on it too much because girl who want to relive that but it was scary times and i can only imagine like the mental health of the healthcare professionals especially the black healthcare professionals and what that was like to see so many so much death um at that time so salute and shout out to y'all and i love the fact that they even incorporated that that we're even having this conversation to even say things good writing so the wife is all together she realizes that she doesn't have any milk and she's saying separate in the home or whatever the case may be she goes upstairs andre is chilling baby andre chilling like a villain with no drug dealing you hear what i'm saying he got the game going it sounded like call of duty if i if i recall um um and she's like why didn't you go get no milk what you been doing all day and she's just like you know i'm trying not to come up here to expose you and like it also shows it also shows and illustrates the strain that a lot of people face in their relationship during the quarantine uh, which is a very real thing girl your relationship made it past the quarantine shout out to you baby and he's like yeah i called you several times she sees she grabs the phone and she's like eloise called you seven times and who is Haley? and then when he mentioned Haley, he grabbed the phone all quick i don't know about y'all if we talk about realism any black woman that saw her man grab and snatch the phone with that amount of energy behind it we we trying to see what's up immediately in that moment we ain't letting nothing go period um but you know for the sake of the show for the sake of the storyline building up um she lets it go he calls eloise and then she finds out or eloise tells her that andre 
not Andre girl, the mayor has died, which is his god daddy. He is in tears, he's upset. And he's like, Andre, you cannot go. Andre, no, you, you can't go. He's like, I have to. So then we see um, the preacher, pastor, Woodbine girl, and she's doing a food bank drive through and everybody's coming, girl. She is in her full glory. She is, you know, Madam Church Lady, First Lady of the First Sunday of the whatever. And you know, I, I think that whole little scene is a little nod to the pastors and the preachers who was getting those PPE loans and wasn't doing doing right by them in the house of the Lord. Cause we seen, we seen a couple of churches take out a couple of them loans that was kind of like, girl, what? Especially uh, Joel Osteen, you know what I mean? It wasn't helping the folks and everything like that. So I think that that was a quick little nod to uh, the preacher pimps that was exposed during the pandemic. So like I said, Sister Woodbine was giving out those those uh, food boxes and we perfectly transitioned the food box into the kitchen with Lil Murda and his producer, DJ Never Scared. And I'm just like, chef's kiss. I love a good transition like that, girl. This show is so good. Uh, this show is so damn good. Mm -mm -mm. Well, is in there rapping about something. He starts pot, you know, beating on the pots of pan like they do on um, in the French Quarter down in New Orleans with the little boys with the little and you know, little murder kills it. He kills it, and you know, DJ never scares. It's like, yeah, what you need me for? I'm the producer. And we see Lil Murder going through the um, text messages of Uncle Clifford. Um, they aren't responding to one another, or I think Uncle Clifford wasn't responding to him. Um, he's clearly still on his mind. We see like a fan roll up, and we see that, um, you know, Lil Murder was kind of like on guard because it was some friction. You can tell with some tens of somebody in the back that's going to be developing, I'm sure. And he grabbed his guy like, when the, when, the, when the music coming out? But he has to be on deck. It's always a story of an up and rising star in the community that causes so much hate within the community that they end up dying. We've seen that over and over again. You know what I mean? Lil Snoop simple as that and I don't even got to go down the list because we know it's a lot of Lil Murder is fully aware that in the city that he's putting on for Mississippi Pride it might be the same city that he might die in and that's the reality of a lot of people who are trying to make it from out the gutter and the next thing we have Mercedes and Autumn and they are sharing Mercedes crib at this point and Mercedes is having herself a good old time girl Mercedes but she must have the rose <laughs> she got the rose y'all drop that in the comments if you know about the rose it's after she you know does that or whatever she comes out and uh you know pretty much just says that well you get your own place and she's like well I don't haven't found a place that I love in Chuckalisa which okay um I like them together. I think that they're the duo that we didn't know that we needed. Very much Pam and Gina vibes. Haley says, you know what? I think that I am gonna give you a bigger cut. I think you deserve it. You know, I know that you handling two mortgages. You know, I thought about it. I'm gonna get some new girls. And she was like, new girls? Mercedes don't want no new girls. I'm gonna get them girls in shape. You ain't gotta worry about it. And she's like, well, we lost our best dancers. Gidget left once her mama died. And Keyshawn is on her way. And she's like, don't you mention that in my in my house and she's like oh my gosh you're making such a big deal about it like you know i understand and this that and the third and she was like no she pulled a gun out on family and you don't do that and both ladies have a point i mean i understand mercedes perspective and her position she has every right to feel the way that she has to feel and the next thing we have Keyshawn doing what she do looking good being a bad bitch that she is okay on the pole Come to find out she's on lives and then she goes out of the room and then she's still with her baby dad girl. I thought she was gonna be somewhere else. She's still with her baby father. Okay, in the living room or in the kitchen with the baby, feeding the baby and he's like, yeah, you know, you have 400,000 views, you know, today or whatever and that's really good. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, you was watching? He's like, I'm always watching everything. He talks about having an interview at three o'clock. She's like, baby, I'm going live at three o'clock. And then he was just like, well, you know, I need to be working too. And I can just see it brewing. You know, he's he's riding her coattails right now. He doesn't want her to be the primary breadwinner. No man does. And then he's a white Southern man. Girl, that whole relationship is toxic. Woo, that is a whole nother. That's a separate video, y'all. I, I want to talk about it so bad, but I know they said this how I'm gonna please. But mm, 
Mm -mm -mm. Do I know that life? She's being controlled. You know what I mean? Simple as that. Mercedes is on Zoom talking to her girls at the gym. And she's like, girl, the lockdowns are about to be over. So I'm going to be seeing y'all soon. And they're like, well, my mama ain't got enough money for that. She was like, well, your mama ain't got enough money for that. And then they was like, well, my mama said that, you know, I want we going to wait until it's over with. Like, it's no bar. There's no measurement of when it's actually over with or not. You know what I mean? Until everyone is vaccinated um in real life or whatever however y'all want to look at it girl i don't want to get my personal pants up on here before youtube block or delete <laughs> um but you know again another realism um understanding that everybody's dreams some people's dreams essentially got put on hold with this whole pandemic little murder and the next scene is um reaching out to woody i think or no i keep calling him woody girl woody his woody and um He's at the funeral home and he's like, I want to go on tour. He's like, what you want to go on tour for? Like, you know, those numbers are doing numbers. And then his manager was like, well, is it because of Keyshawn or is it because of you? You know, trying to put that out there. He doesn't really see a tour happening, but Lil Murder knows that something needs to be, something needs to shake. In the process in that same time, Lil Murder called Keyshawn and was like, baby, what you think about going on a tour? We can make that happen. We can get it going. I was like, a tour? I don't know about that. I got too much going on and you still owe me money. And Keyshawn isn't convinced on the tour either. We see Keyshawn put some diapers in a diaper genie. And at first I didn't know what was going on. Then I thought about it like, oh, she about to bust a move. So the next scene we have Andre. He is paying his respects to his godfather and, you know, Louise, um, and I think his wife had mentioned something about being a pallbearer, you know, would you stay for the funeral? And he's like, you know, I know y'all weren't in good terms, but he loved you fiercely. And, you know, it's insinuated that he's gonna stay for the funeral itself. Um, and immediately after, immediately after he ends up linking up with Haley, no wonder. He's like, if I saw you, I thought I was gonna slap you. And she's like, you ain't gonna slap nobody. Let me get a cigarette, whatever the case. They have this whole little romantic, innuendo sexual tension um cryptic conversation she walks off in the rain while still smoking a cigarette okay she mentioned something that i did like though she said funerals ain't for the dead it's for the people that's living and <laughs> that's the truth that's the true team we see uncle clifford and the beloved grandma ernestine watching the funeral on the TV, you know, she says, go around there and go get me some chitlins. You know, Uncle Clifford go make an appearance. Uncle Clifford is moved by the words that Andre is saying at the mayor's funeral. So we we see why Keyshawn was putting the diapers in the diaper genie. She tells her man like, oh, it looks like we're out of diapers for the baby. And she's like, I'll just go to the store. He's like, no, I'll go to the store. And then she's like, oh, well, I need to get some tampons. He's like, well, it's not the fourth. He's like, I know, but I want to just, you know, be prepared. So that was a little opportunity for her to get out of the house. As she gets out the house, she goes to the dollar store. She calls Gidget. They have some cute banter. She said things have been going doing well with her and Derek, which is like, hey, it's been better. He's just not beating he's still controlling you and um get just don't halfway believe her get just said i'm getting to a bag in arizona girl you need to you need to you need to get out here she like girl you know my man ain't going for that and she goes up to the dollar store and who do we see none other than diamond okay and diamond is the security guard trying to enforce people wearing masks and like that was a real thing i mean doesn't want no parts of her he she's trying to get attention she's like listen what you here for you need a mask i don't care take it with you oh well and she's like diamond i've been thinking about this i haven't talked to you she's like well we can't talk here not right here and i like that is like why are you trying to talk to him right here he's like you don't understand what would have happened if you would have killed him where would you be right now diamond ain't trying to hear none of that diamond's not trying to hear none of that and rightfully so he has a right to be upset i feel it's like Girl, I was doing this for you. I was in here beating him, busting him up for you, and you pulled the gun out on me. Like, I don't want nothing to do with it. She tried to give him the chain back, and she was, he was like, man, keep it. And she's tore up. She's tore down, and she's tore up, as she should be. But at the same time, I feel like she did save him, because if he would've killed him, you know, he's a white man in Mississippi, what would've happened to him? Come on now. And then we have this quick scene of the interim mayor, which is one of the cowboys. Um, 
you know, coming over to the funeral to say, oh, you know, I'm sorry about this. Clifford collects it, you know, the chitlins. He sees the cow's wood and he's just like, yeah, well, you know, me and Pastor Woodbine put on a good show. You know what I mean? We 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 have a good, you know, reputation in the community with our referendum to not get the casino here. And, you know, they do that whole thing. Andre wants nothing to do with the Cowboys. He tried to extend an olive branch, but y'all, we all know the man pulled the gun out on him. So, you know, he flicked the cigarette at him. I would've done the same. Sean is with her daughter in the next scene and she gets in the crib. She's like, you want some of this titty milk? I just think that that's so cute. Cause like, for my own, like, you know, she just keeping it real. Um, She's weaning her daughter off of breast, being breastfed. And she gives, she tells her this really like beautiful, hood Rapunzel story in a way that was just so well written and so well delivered. That was really, really good. And the story just symbolizes that she just wants more, you know what I mean? More than what Derek can provide, more than she even knows that she can even get. Um, we see, um, I forgot the half the mulatto, even though I know that that's, that's an offensive term. You know, the, the, the black, the half black, half white brother, talking to Andre saying that you know he is on a retainer he still might be able to get a couple of coins um then we see Mercedes and Haley they're just chilling watching what's love got to do with it and I'm telling you that's a hood classic baby we love, I love I love that same part too not the day Ike I'm not in the mood okay that one and just eat the cake anime me and my family still say that in the group chat to this day but no and she's just like you really gonna have auditions at the paint after I explicitly told you not to and she said no, well, I'm going to do what I have to do because I've been keeping us afloat, Mercedes, and this, that, and the third. She's like, well, what Uncle Clifford say? And all of them said, Uncle Clifford ain't got to say nothing. I'm the owner. I'm going to do what's best for us. She said, well, yes, sir, sir, master boss, so you want some lemonades with? She just started going in and in and Girl, she sang way to the world, all the way to the floor. I was cracking up during that scene. Then we see Kay showing his up little murder and say, let's call it toward Dirty Dozens, 12 cities, 12 nights y'all and he's taking out his grills with these perfect teeth baby listen when i lived in the south i wanted a pair of grills so bad and like not like real professional grills like i was only from a beauty supply store they sell they sell grills at the beauty supply store in the south <laughs> but i just thought i just wanted some bottoms you know what i mean like and i'm glad i didn't because y'all probably would have roasted me but y'all i might come up on here with some grills one day just because i always want to do that but now you know I wanted a whole look though, like I wanted a high ponytail, hoop earrings, like nice minimal makeup, a nice cat wing, crazy lashes, red lip grills, banging. Like, don't that sound like a Bob baby? Anyway, when I make it up, out this bitch, I'm gonna get to that. That's how I'm feeling. Like, that's the energy. You know what I mean? Little murder. Like, when I make it up, out this, period. You know, so he gets that, he starts singing it, start rapping it, and he in the, um, you know, the mirror rapping to himself, rap, rapping around the apartment. Like, I've been there. Look, I'm still there when I'm making up out of here. Like, this is what I'm about to do. I love that girl. Is it a soundtrack I can listen to? Girl, I need to listen to that in the morning when I'm waking up for my workout. Anyway, y'all, um, this is my first time reviewing this show. This is like really like, you know, kind of different because the last time I, I, I reviewed a scripted show was, I made the story with HBO. That was back in the days, you know what I mean? So like this video, give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying these type of reviews. Let me know um, if it's a flop or a bop, if I should continue or not. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like the video because the bigger YouTubers are gonna eat me up in the algorithm. So make sure you like the, the, the likey, 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 period. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light and I will see you in the next video. Peace.